There Here we, we are. First one, local hurricane relief. We're going to tell you about a local company that is out in Florida helping Hurricane Helene victim. Also going off there, we're going to talk about hurricane and electricity. There's a local man down there helping out with those relief efforts. That's right. Reaction also to the vice presidential debate from last night. Uh, did you watch it? Do you have any takeaways? Well, there are some takeaways nationally as well. All right, we first want to talk about Logan and Chelsea Hunt. They are a couple from Cory that are putting together a way to help those affected by Hurricane Helene. The couple collecting any contributions. We're talking food, water, clothing, even money. And there are three locations that supplies can be dropped off in the region. That includes the Cory Lawrence Airport, Dusty's Towing in Union City, or Bova's Hardware in Spartansburg. And if you can't make a physical donation, there's also a way to donate through Cash App or Venmo to Logan Hunt 493. Our Logan Lapiscopo will be talking with Chelsea and Logan Hunt. They'll have a story tomorrow on their efforts. But again, you'll be able to find out more information also on our website at erienewsnow.com. And also repairs and rebuilding continue in the south following the devastation of Hurricane Helene. And businesses from Erie have made the trip to help out those in need. Joe Dobrich, the owner of Dobrich Electric, got down to Clearwater, Florida yesterday morning and says the devastation he has witnessed has been indescribable. Now he says streets are filled with items that need thrown out due to water damage. He has been restoring power and rewiring electrical work in homes since he arrived and he plans to continue that work throughout the week. The vice presidential candidates are back on the campaign trail today in crucial swing states following last night's debate here on CBS. Republican Senator J.D. Vance traveled to Michigan while Democratic Governor Tim Walz was in Pennsylvania and he was actually in York. Our bureau reporter was there for the event that happened a little earlier. But last night, the exchanges, they were overwhelmingly civil, even as the candidates clashed on issues from the economy to immigration to abortion and the future of democracy. And the new CBS News poll shows viewers split evenly on who actually won and most liked the tone of the debate. 88% thought it was actually generally positive. And tonight, the Erie School District is voting on a four-year agreement that would give teachers and other employees a raise. It's expected to pass at tonight's special board meeting, which just got underway, raising the starting salary by almost 10% in the first year. Yeah, this is another big news story of the day. So the ability to hire teachers and keep them has been a struggle on both the local and national level, which is why the Erie City School District has collaborated with the Erie Educational Association, Association that is. So teachers union, uh, they're paying instructors higher wages. The starting salary for a teacher with a bachelor's degree is just over 47,000 in the Erie City Schools. The new salary, if this passes tonight, will be just over 55,000 for teachers. Our Caleb Yager will have more tonight on this at 6 o'clock.